power. Now, now, women, you shouldn't be insulted by me telling you how they're propagandizing you. You should be angry and upset. Go ahead and finish up your point, Jeff. Yes, Alex, there's two things that I would say to pay attention to, which, which both of which uh, Alan Watt has talked about periodically. One, when you're watching these TV programs, what they'll try is what you just pointed to. It's called neuroassociative conditioning, the Pavlovian conditioning. They want to get you, they get you as a viewer into a peak state, a Super Bowl, uh, excuse me, a, a, a touchdown is scored, a basket is made at a critical time. When your nervous system is in that peak state of pleasure, now they're going to flash military, military, military. Now, does this mean that every guy in the military is bad? No, I'm not saying that. But what it does no, mean is No, but it's are... military propaganda scientifically being applied to the public without them knowing about it. This is the essence of mind control. Sounds like uh, you've been in psyops or, or, or are, are you a marketing psychologist? No, 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 nothing like that. But, you know, I've just done a little bit of reading. And the thing is, what's very important is if you listen to your show and listen to the guests that are on your show long enough, you start to see a lot of this is predictive programming. Even, even for example, what they did with uh, uh, Plaxico Burris with his gun case and Tiger Woods in, in his case. What they're telling you uh, in, in a mode of predictive programming is that you have no privacy. You know, if I was Tiger Woods, I would I would tell people this is between me and my wife. This is Why none of your business. This, you? this is none of your business. I mean, if you'd have come out and said, I, at least I don't have underage prostitutes at my house like Barney Frank, you know, shut up. But no, they got him to play into the guilt. And I'm not saying what he did was good. The point is none of our business. And, and, and then they said, oh, he screwed up more. He's got to apologize more. And it teaches us that we have no privacy. Another great point. Teaches it. It teaches it. Now, there was a player from the Browns arrested for carrying a handgun. Didn't hurt unloaded, anybody. Didn't unloaded, and, uh, unloaded, and it creates the perception that all guns are illegal everywhere at all times. And you'll notice when you turn on ESPN, they show a very unflattering photograph of the guy caught with the gun. Ooh, he's caught with the gun. Now, I was proud of, there's one guy, Eric Casillas, on ESPN, who actually... Uh, stands up for, he, he stood up for Roethlisberger and said, the guy hasn't even been uh, convicted yet. We don't even know the facts of the story. Everybody else on ESPN wanted blood. Suspend him, eliminate him, get rid of this guy. You don't even and know the facts. And that ties into people yet. training the public to hate anyone who's successful so they can sick the working class on any middle class, telling them the working class, that anyone who's middle class is actually the rich elite. So they know the public's mad at the rich elite, so they falsely create the perception that middle class is the elite, pressure from above, pressure from below, to destroy the ancestral enemy of the elite, a middle class merchant class. Great points, uh, Jeff. I appreciate your call. You shouldn't wait for Alex Jones to do a TV show about this, which is, that's what I'm going to do. That's, that's, that's TV show idea number one. Um, you should... Start snipping clips of this, get a little cheap computer program, and once a week, call it Jeff's Review of Propaganda. This week, we're looking at a sitcom. This week, we're looking at ads. This week, we're looking at news. It's all fair use. Show clips. Show the people. That's what I'm saying. I'm not here to do all this. I can't do it all. And I'm not somebody who has good ideas and then hoards them to myself. I'm somebody who has ideas to beat these people, and I say, here it is, here it is. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Go, 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 go. Because the water's rising in this chamber. We're going to drown politically if we don't break out of here together, okay? So I'm over here at the door lock trying to force it, and I'm saying, help me. I'm not strong enough. Help me. Please, please get Invisible Empire on DVD. Please, please get Police State Force so we can prove their FEMA camps so people understand how it all ties together in the big picture. Please, just get the film, make copies, get it out to people. Please help us. Please support us. Please help us turn this thing. Because talking to Jeff just gave me a headache. Jeff's a great caller, intelligent, the type of caller we want who's informed and active and has done his research. And he, he did some research and knew all the scientific terms of Pavlovian operant conditioning and other systems. The, uh, and it gave me a headache because it, it made my mind flash with all the other data I had on this. And then it also made me sick and angry at the establishment. I mean, having psychological warfare programming, actual brainwashing, 
The same stuff 60 years ago they'd have on movie screens in the Soviet Union inside a camp where they were breaking people. I mean, I mean to read all over the country where the police come in and take over unannounced elementary schools, dressed up in camo and say, we're the homeschoolers against public school. We're here to kill you. And the children defecate. They urinate. They pass out. Teachers end up going to loony bins. They tell them it's real for hours. They throw blood on them. They put them on the ground and say, I'm going to blow your head off. Unannounced. In many of the drills. That is a hardcore brainwashing operation. I mean, that is scarring these children. But then they tell the parents, well, we're worried about malicious. In fact, search this. One of the worst cases, but we learned it's happening nationwide, but where people actually complain, so we learned about it. It was about four years ago, and it was in the Associated Press. Pull up the term. It's mentally exhausting doing this. I'm not complaining. It's just that it's starting to weigh on me, folks. The level of knowledge. And if you research, you'd have this knowledge, too. And it's just, it's just, it's like, please wake up. Please see what's happening. Parents angry over Michigan security drill. And in the article, it talks about they came in and it, it, it's happened in Texas and it's happened in we've had the teachers on. We've had their lawyers on. It's happened in Minneapolis, St. Paul. They took the elementary kids out the back to school. So we're going to kill you in the forest. <sighs> and I have to sit here and they like, we're doing that to stop mass shootings. We're, we've got to naked body scan you. We've got to take your blood at checkpoints. They want to get into your comfort zone, get into your space, train you. You have no privacy. This is psychological warfare, and it conditions the cops to do this. Everybody's being conditioned. All right, I'm going to go to uh, Jake, Tony, Muhammad, Pat, Daryl, and others before our guest gets on, and I have to get into all this free speech news and the rest of it, but I'll cover some of that with her. Um, there it is, Michigan high school students terrorizing police state security drill. Is that five years old? It is. Okay, print it, and it'll have an AP link in it. See of the AP link or search under that term. That's natural news, great source of info. But we want to show people actual AP. Splattering blood on them, blowing a truck up in front of them. Uh, and again, you're tuning in going, this didn't happen. Yes, it did, okay? Yes, it did. Okay? That's my point. It's going on everywhere. They're taking their children away from you. If you did that to your kids, they take your kids away from you and arrest you, and they should. If you came in and said you were going to blow their head off, put a gun to their head. But they're training you that the... If you naked body scanned your kids, you'd get in trouble. But the state says they can do it. They're training the preachers to tell their flocks to go to FEMA camps. You cannot make this up. Now, I want to briefly go to Ted Anderson. I hope you listen up carefully because we're only spending a few minutes on this. The banks have done everything they can to drive gold down. But it's up, uh, what, more than $10 in the last uh, week. It's at 1133 and 10 cents. And Ted still has gold and silver he bought back when gold was at the 1050 level. And on top of it, he'll throw in a free international forecast for your subscription, $159 value. And the tiny amount of money he makes from this because he bought it at a lower price, sells it low when it's high, supports the network. You can't get a better deal. He's got a bunch of other co coins he's offering. Ted, tell folks about today's offers. Yeah, sure. As a matter of fact, I can do even a little bit better. It was two sixty one sixty one last time I offered the franc. Gold is up. I've dropped my price on the franc down to two forty nine sixty eight. So the price of the uh, franc is actually lower. It gets it down to ninety dollars and sixty eight cents after you consider the one hundred and fifty nine dollar discount for the forecaster subscription. Totals four hundred and fifty three dollars and forty cents an ounce for gold. I mean, we're both looking at gold right now at $1,135 an ounce. That's a steal. Um, we are, it, Unbelievable. Uh, the one-ounce silver sovereigns coming out of the Montana silver people, uh, they are selling like hotcakes right now. So I'd really recommend those get involved with those as well. Uh, you know, it's, it's you know when, when, when organizations stand up for liberty, people support it. And I really appreciate that. Uh, the British sovereigns currently are three three hundred and twelve dollars and forty two cents. Again, that's a lower price. 
Uh, I picked up most of this stuff when gold was down there at that 1,083 level, and now we're looking at 1,135, so this is really a good buy. And I would suggest that people get involved, but 